Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing the Vibeat Baby Oxygen Meter Finger Pulse Oximeter. This is it right here. This device measures your oxygen saturation level or the percentage of oxygen in your blood, your pulse rate or your heart rate, your perfusion index, and it can also measure your toddler's oxygen level from their foot. This oximeter can be used for all ages and it also pairs with an app to help you keep track of your data if you wish to. And I will show you that later. Here is the unboxing. This oximeter comes with a one year warranty, an easy instruction manual. Here is what the device looks like. It also comes with the batteries necessary. It uses two AAA batteries, a carry pouch, the baby sensor attachment, which goes on your baby's foot. Here is how I used it on my one-year-old baby. It can be tricky to get it on their feet when they are squirmy and trying to play. And it is important to note that you will not get a reading if they are moving. It has an adjustable strap and it goes around their foot and ankle. And the last thing is a lanyard, which will make it easier to carry it around. You don't have to turn it on or off. When you put it on your finger, it automatically turns on, and when you remove it, it turns off. You can use this device on its own, just to see the readings on its screen, or if you want to store your information, you can download the Vi Health app and connect the oximeter to it. This is what the app will show you if you choose to pair your phone to it. The device is connected to your phone by Bluetooth and if you want your sessions to be stored in the app, you have to open the app when you put the oximeter on your finger. On the dashboard you will see your oxygen level and pulse rate, but also your perfusion index and the amount of time you've been recording the readings for. It also has a graph line on the bottom and when you remove the device from your finger it automatically displays the details of your session. Here you will find the date and time of the recording, the ranges, the duration, the distribution, and you can add notes from this session if you wish to. If you click on this button in the top right corner, you can choose to share this record in PDF or CSV format, or click on generate image to share it as an image. This is what the PDF looks like. And this is what the CSV format looks like. Over here in the history tab, you can see at the top the weekly, monthly, or yearly average levels. And below where it says history, you have access to each session that you stored. By clicking on it, you can also choose to share it if you wish to. And up here, you can add more members if you want to. And one more thing I forgot to mention was that this device comes with a set limit for your heart rate and oxygen level, but you can adjust these levels if you wish to on the device itself by clicking this button. And on top of that, if you don't wish to connect it to the app, you can just select off here where it says wireless. I have used this device on my entire family and it is so easy to take with you if you're going anywhere and you just wanna have it for extra monitoring. I hope you liked this video and I hope you found the information in this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.